Hi! Welcome back to another video tutorial. For today, I'm going to be discussing how you can create your teacher avatar and how you can use it in your online teaching. And if you want to know more about this, please watch until the end. And please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you can be updated with my upcoming video tutorials. So some of us teachers are not too much fond of showing our faces on cam. Just like me, it took me a lot of courage to start my own YouTube channel. So for those of you who are not comfortable showing their faces, might as well make your own avatar. What is an avatar by the way? It is an icon or figure representing a particular person in video games or internet forums. So since we are now embracing the world of uh, online teaching, this would be helpful for us teachers. The first thing you need to do is to download the app on your mobile phone so you can create your account. If you go to their Bitmoji website, there is no option in here to create your account. The only option for you to create your account is to download the app. So once you have it on your phone, go ahead and create your account. So you can, if you have Snapchat, you can um, continue creating your account using your Snapchat or sign up with your email. So if you have created your account, you may now customize your avatar. This is the landing page when you click on the Bitmoji app. So below it, you will find the one that says Avatar. Here you will find here your face shape, what else, your body type, and you can also choose your outfit. So you can customize it. Um, I just did not show you, but you can also customize your eyelashes, your lips, your nose, so it will perfectly represent who you are and how you look like. Okay, so once you are done, you go ahead and save your avatar. And if let's say you don't want how you look like on this avatar, you can always go back to your account and then change your appearance anytime you want. So the good news about this Bitmoji app is once you save your avatar, it automatically comes with pre-made collection of your avatar. If you can see, this is the avatar that you've customized and they just probably um, did some effects for your collection. So let's try the Yes collection. This is very cool for your presentations and I wish I had known this app long before we started the online teaching or the remote learning. Now you might be wondering how can we use or when can we use or where can we use these avatars? So I have included here some of the uses. You can of course insert these avatars in your Google slide presentation when you make your audiovisual presentations. You can download those avatars, save it and then Put it on your AVPs. And of course, for us online teachers, we can put it in our virtual classroom. And you can also put this in your emails like a normal image. So let me show you how to put it in your Google slide. But the first thing you need to do is to download the Bitmoji extension for Google Chrome. So I have uh, Put the link below this video, just click on it and you'll be able to add the extension. Okay, so once you click on that link, in here it should say Add to Chrome since I have installed it already. So I have it on my um, bar here. So this is a sign that you have the Bitmoji extension on your Google Chrome if you see this green smiling face at the top of your browser. Okay, so this is one avatar that I have put. So all you have to do, let me just take that out so I can show you how you can insert it. So go to your Bitmoji 
and then you can find here your collections so if you want let's say traveling okay just put on the keywords and it will give you a collection that is uh, um, aligned with your keywords so let me try this one okay so just double click it hold on to it and then drag it on your slide and then just adjust the size now there's also another way to make this more exciting you can also animate this one so on your google slide there is here an option that says animate so fade in click let's try an interesting animation let's say fly in from the top okay so once you present this one let's try okay So if you present it, let's see if it will fly from the top. Oh, okay, there you go. Now it's working. Let's try it again. Ooh, hmm, that's cool. This is actually my first time putting an animation on that one. So going back, okay. So that's one way, one use of your avatar. If you are also, if you also have your like your virtual classroom you can also insert your avatar okay and when you create your email instead of typing hello how are you you can just click any of your avatar that says how are you how's it going okay let's try this one so click on it double click and drag it to your email there you go okay so that's another use so there's an endless use of this uh, um, bitmoji extension depending on your field of work okay so that's all about the bitmoji app if you are ready to use this you can find the link below this video and just install it on your google chrome and you're good to go thank you for watching